is John Wadsworth, I'm an astrologer and this is my video blog for Friday the 7th of January 2011. I'd like to look at the astrology of 2011 because it's a really another very powerful year astrologically. We've already kicked off with a solar eclipse on the 4th of January and the final conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus in Pisces at 27 degrees of Pisces. So anyone born with planets in the late degrees of Pisces, Gemini, Virgo or Sagittarius already has, have had a, a real boost, um, a boost of energy, a boost of, of a real kickstart in a way to the year. Jupiter and Uranus both move into Aries this year in the early part of the year, January, um, January mid-January for Jupiter and mid-March for Uranus. And so by, by mid-March we have both these, these two big players Jupiter, the planet of growth and expansion, Uranus, the planet of radical change and revolution, both <clears throat> in, the very, in the fiery cardinal sign of Aries. And both bringing with them a great sort of youthful exuberance. And I think we'll see a rising of, youth, of, the, of the youth in society, of, of the youthful impulse within ourselves, but also of young people coming to the fore. I think that could be one of the themes of this year. Especially in the spring, in, in, in April, we have a, a big lineup of planets in Aries. And I think we're going to see a, a real kind of bursting through of passion. We're going to be looking for passion in our leaders. We're going to be looking for passion everywhere in terms of you know, what inspires us. We're going to need to be inspired, and I think we will be inspired, probably by lone wolf individuals who, who burst onto the scene with something exciting. And um, I just noticed the other day this, this, this guy in France who's produced this little red book, very, very Aries, isn't it? A red book, little red, little 30 page red book about, about reviving the resistance spirit in France. And this book has sold millions. And it seems to be just that little thing itself generating a spark of, of, um, of resistance to what people see is happening around them in terms of, um, you know, corporate and governments holding on to their power base. I think we're going to see, we are going to see a resistance to that, but it's going to come from the grassroots and it's going to come out of individual inspiration, especially um, around the spring, I think, with this, with this lineup in Aries. Things settle a bit more in May. There's a lineup in Taurus. Jupiter moves into Taurus and we have, this, we have four or five planets lining up there between the... the um, the middle of May and, and the second week of June, but then it all kicks off again on the Grand Cross, um, moving toward what I think is the most powerful chart of the year, the 1st of July chart, which is another big Grand Cross lineup on the solar eclipse with the Sun and Moon in Cancer, opposite Pluto in Capricorn, making squares to the opposition between Uranus in Aries and Saturn. In Libra, Saturn actually retrogrades back to 10 degrees of Libra to join in this Grand Cross. So just like we had in the summer of 2010, we have another powerful Cardinal Grand Cross lineup this summer. So I think things come to a head over that period. And I think this is a, another pivotal millennial moment. This year in 2011, we're having a lot of those, what I call millennial moments, those moments where things come to a head, where through some kind of crisis, some kind of internal crisis in individuals, but also a crisis in society. That, and it's these crises that are, that are helping to, 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 re, to, to really rebirth the future to, by bringing things to a head, by things breaking down, by people breaking down, by the structures that we've held on to for a long time that have kept us safe, that we've relied upon. Those structures are, are now showing cracks and they are breaking down all around us. And people, I think, some, will, some may go under under the fear of it, but I think that, that more and more people will, will realise that there's more to life, that they need to be true to their core values, to their truth. And I think we're going to see a lot of that um, this year, a lot of people really stepping on the path. And I'm very optimistic about it. I think it's challenging, of course. It's a difficult, it's a volatile year in many ways. But I think we're going to see a great stirring in the hearts and minds of people to really come from their truth. And I think we are going to see some, some great developments, but it's going to come in probably in small communities through sort of underground movements or through, through you know, pockets of people getting together and coming from their, 
realizing their fire, getting in touch with their creative, their creativity and their passion and coming from that place. Relationships, I think, again, under tension this year, those relationships that, that don't come from truth, that, that, that are compromises. It's an uncompromising year and I think we're going to feel more uncompromising in ourselves this year and, and so uh, relationships must be true and they may have to go through some kind of transformational process in order to, to make it through this period. Very exciting time, difficult time, but, 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 but full of possibility, full of energy. So I feel really good about it, actually. Um, I think astrology has an awful lot to offer us over this time, which is why I'm running a year-long uh, full comprehensive astrology training uh, from March this year, March 2011, through to March 2012. And over seven weekends in Glastonbury with email, web support as well throughout the year. So if you're interested in that, have a look at my website, which is kairosastrology.co.uk. I'm also available for consultations and I'm also still running the alchemical journey process in Glastonbury every month where we journey through the signs of the zodiac as a sort of mystery school journey to, to integrate all 12 zodiac perspectives in our life. So... If you're interested in any of those offerings, do look at my websites. My The Alchemical Journey you can find at thealchemicaljourney.co.uk. Thanks for listening.